Hello? Oh, Jesus. There's nothing in here. I think it's the other side of the door. <laughs> Freshly armed with a journalism degree, I returned to my hometown haunted by the chilling narratives enveloping the Rockwell mines. These unsettling tales have lingered for years, their darkness casting shadows over the community. Drawing on the skills and knowledge forged in my studies, I am now poised to unravel the mysterious history that conceals the mind's secrets. As I venture into my inaugural investigation report focused on the Rockwell mine incidents, I am hoping that fortune favors my pursuit of the truth. Hello everybody, welcome to Crafting Chills Gaming. I am your host, and welcome to the spectacular game called The Descent. Let's go descend into the nightmare, shall we? We have arrived F for flashlight V for camera Oh fantastic Let's get a nice image here folks There's the mines over there Look around the area to find a tool to unlock the entrance gate. All these people went missing. There's no key in my inventory. So we must find a way in. abandoned car over there too. Wonder how long that car has been here. Has anybody had the misfortune of having to use these things? I have and they're quite nasty, I can assure you. Hello? Shoulder crouch, good. No one's been here in a while. Now look at here. I imagine this will get us in. Although I think we should have brought it. Somebody else brought it and didn't use it. How lucky for us. The Rockwell Mine. Data. 
objectives here. Investigate the Rockwell coal mine. Bridge looks unsafe. Oh. Whoa. Quite unsafe. fall in, we're gonna freeze. However, we made it through. Let's continue on, shall we? Whoa. Hello? I thought I heard something over there. luck. Sounds like somebody was in the, in the water. Maybe it was a fish jump though. Although I highly doubt it. I need to get on with my investigation though. I'm a reporter after all. Breaking news. Let's see what he has. Breaking. Breaking news. What? Headline. Haunted legends emerge from the abandoned mine. In the twist of the eerie and the unexplained, the abandoned rock rail mine has revealed a tapestry of haunted legends. Shrouding its dark history in enig enigmatic tales and unsettling whispers. As four miners delved into the mine's passages, they found themselves immersed in a world where folklore and superstitions intertwined with the reality. Sto mm. Stories of apparitions, ghostly voices, and unexplained phenomena has long haunted the mine's reputation, but now the miners were experiencing these legends firsthand. The spectral encounters have left both the miners and the local community awestruck and apprehensive. The once dismissed stories of restless spirits and haunted tunnels have taken on an unsettling reality. As the investigations into the mine haunted into the mine's haunted history continues, it's clear that the community is struggling to reconcile their legends with their newfound presence. Questions arise. All these encounters or a menace stations of a long buried traumas or is there something more sinister at play as the boundaries between the living and the supernatural blow within the rockwell mine the search for answers intensifies leaving the community to ponder the unsettling truths that may lie within this ominous place very well okay Hello? Okay. Do I need a crowbar or something? Let me see what pops up when I do that. Nothing pops up. Okay. So I don't have necessary something to get into that door that right yet. So let's move on. This is all rusted on to, to get to all get out there. 
This thing will never move again. I'll maybe get some WD-40. Who knows? Oh, look at this. Another doll. Hmm. Fascinating. Well... Some way or another... You gotta get inside, and I would think that this train... Oh, Jesus! <clears throat> I would think that this train... Oh, the dead dog, oh my god. How shameful is that? Oh, is that the... Is that the door? Is it open? Can you push it? Can we jump up here? No, I can't jump. Whoa, whoa. Something just tried to kill me just now. Hello? Is there anybody here? I do got a gun. I'm not afraid to use it. You've always got to make that statement whenever you go in some place unknown. That's the first rule of exploration. Making it known that you have a weapon even though you may not. Hello? Ten miners are placed. Hello? Oh shit. The bass has locked me in. anything around here. This door's locked too. Hello? Look 
little girl. Hello. Hello? This isn't funny. It's quite scary, actually. Someone's breathing rather loud. this door. Hello? Oh, Jesus. There's another thing in here. I think it's the other side of the door. That got me good, that got me good. That was quite nice, I must admit that. Still can't get into this door. I didn't even get to see what kind of creature that thing was. If it was human or not human. I just saw it and freaked the heck out. Still, 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 still quite scared. I must admit. We know there's nothing in here. Oh, now the door opens. Didn't open before. We get out. Of course not. Huh. Find a fuse to turn on the generator. I just find the key to get out of here. That's probably the best thing I can do. I and a team of fellow workers ventured deeper into the mine. The task was to initiate a controlled explosion in a new section of rock. As per instructions, I remained behind, being the newcomer to the team. About ten minutes later, I heard the deafening sound of explosions. When the rescuers finally reached the miners, they discovered the that only Harry Doggled had survived. However, he was not the same person he once was. Something had gone terribly wrong in those depths. I can't help but wish there was something I could have done for them. John. I hear you.
the note. Hello? Oh, shit. Nice, we need to pass some fuses. would choose his bay. Definitely not behind there. The fuck? Hmm. If I were a fuse, I'd be in a, a tool shed or something like that toolbox That's just me. Ten miners are facing a challenging situation as they remain. I was a fuse box, I'd be in this room right here. It seemed like this would be like a... Be like a shed style place. But I can't get in there. Is there anybody in there? Obviously, I am wrong. And these fuses are probably going to be all willy-nilly all over the place. Which would not make any sense. Let's go up here. Maybe there's been a pair. Storage. I do like the cli I do like the climbing. It's very pleasing. Yeah, this is where the fuses. Would. If I was a fuse, this is where I would be. I'm afraid to look at the notes because you know what happens every time you look at the note, something happens. hinges. An unforeseen collapse of the mine's doors left the miners in that section with no means of escape. A bold and daring rescue mission was swiftly organized, but unexpected complications emerged, posing additional, posing additional threats to both the rescuers and their trapped miners. One of our fellow miners ventured back inside the block section, aiming to reach Jack who was deeper in the mine, but then another collapse occurred. 
they didn't make it. And all I witnessed was death. I should have been the one in there. My sanity is slipping away. And if the rescue efforts fail, I question the purpose of it all. Joe. What a shame. Anything else down in there? Uh, we got a fuse. I was half expecting something to jump out me right there. I'm glad it didn't. Start it open. Start it up. Very nice. Oh shit. Hello? Hello, is anybody up there? Oh. I don't like this at all. the elevator, huh? Got a gun. I'm not afraid to use it. It's like somebody's. Digging. Maybe coal mining. <laughs> what? What? Must be the foreman's office. There's no key in my inventory. I don't see anything in there. I don't like that though. Something is out in here. Oh shit. The miners are falling ill in an alarming right, with one of them becoming seriously ill to the point of attempting an attack on others today. A pickaxe in his hands of the sick individual can result in significant harm. Fortunate, fortunately, John, being the largest person in the group by far, managed to subdue him swiftly. The question that looms in our minds is, what is unfolding within the depths of the mine? Kyle. 
Whatever happened, Kyle? I'm here to get to the bottom of this thing here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god, there's somebody there. Excuse me, sir. Baby jump scare. It got me still a little bit. Whoa. Key in the inventory. Alright. It's got. It's got to be in the foreman's office. That's where I would be if I was a key. Something busted open the gate on the other side. I should go explore the area. Well, hell yeah. Especially if it leads to outside. I can read this note first here. In this twisted realm, death seems like the only escape from this living nightmare. I can feel the darkness closing in, and I'm no longer sure if there's any way back to the world of the living. I hope you forgive me for my sins. Robert. Something busted on the other side. Back to the other side, I guess. I remember how to get there. Oh shit. I'm not liking this at all. Chills running down my spine right now. Shit. Oh shit, this is the door we had couldn't get into before. Oh, 
So this is where the men and women ate their meals. Probably black. Sit all over the bodies from the coal mine. All our radios have become frustratingly unreliable below a certain depth, leaving us feeling increasingly isolated down here. The situation has escalated into arguments as we persistently voice our concerns. Our superiors, however, remain unyielding, insisting that everything is functioning perfectly. If that's the case, then why do we continue to lose communications as we venture deeper into the mines? Thomas. The Coal Miner's Prayer. Each day as we rise, Lord, we know all too well we face only one thing, a pit filled with hell. To scratch out a living the best that we can, but deep in the heart lies the soul of a man. With black covered faces and hard calloused hands, we work the dark tunnels unable to stand, to labor and toil as we harvest the cold. Ye silently pray, Lord, please harvest our soul. That was a nice prayer. Want that hat. Miners are turning on each other. In a split second, someone appears perfectly fine. And the next moment, they're launching surprise attacks from behind. This has been happening at, at an alarming rate. Authorities claim it's due to excessive drinking, and they warn a potential termination if this continues. I don't understand. They've never fought each other, even when intoxicated. Daniel. That's not really what's going on, is it? I do want that hat, though. Take his lantern. Our radios have become frustratingly unreliable below a certain depth, leaving us feeling increasingly isolated down here. We already read that. Okay, never mind. Hello? Now let me in.
Hello. This is the time I wish I had eyes on the back of my head and the sides. I got to go back over there still. I haven't met the objective yet, really. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see, because I think I saw the other thing. You know, one thing I'll do, I'll put the uh, camera on. I'll see something I missed. Oh, now I can see. That was quite freaky. objective yet still no we haven't I'm not seeing anything I uh, anything else mist following him. Excuse me. And I don't have a weapon that's get to, to help me with this thing. There was a ladder over here, wasn't there? Yeah. I'm 
being really stupid right now. Really stupid. The door over here is open now. Ooh. Ooh. This is not good at all. These rusted shingles, I think I'm going to fall through. I'm almost certain of it. We'll avoid that for sure. Kidding me right now. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look safe at all. But we are an educated investigator, so we must persist. Oh my god. I wonder which one this one was. So not Mara's existence down here, and the line between reality and supernatural has blood beyond recognition. As I dangle from this rope, I can't bow the torment any longer. The relentless horrors, the gruesome killings, and the haunting visions have pushed me to the brink. I love you all, but I can't take it anymore. Matthew. I'm sorry, Matthew. I write a good column about you. I can, I can, I can show you. Oh shit! Uh, what the hell am I gonna do? coming after me. There's a... There's a way down here. Maybe he's trying to help me. 
The explosion took us by a complete surprise. We were simply going about our work when chaos suddenly e erupted. The team was diligently chipping away at the rock, and everything seemed routine. But when I glanced over, a few of the miners were coming from the depot section, and we were making their and were making their way towards us. As they drew near, I heard screams, and then shockingly, a, a dynamite stick caught on fire and exploded. This was entirely unexpected. Those sticks have long wires for detonation. What on earth is happening down here? I am thankful I was about 50 feet away, giving me the chance to sprint into another tunnel for safety. William. Alright, William. Oof. Oh shit. this thing the key to unlock the control room it doesn't fit Get out of that thing for a second. This must be to the foreman's room. I'm hoping. Please. Yes. Making sure before I pick this note up, something else is not going to be popping out at me. We've been witnessing an unusual spike in cave ins lately, and it's not your typical ships. Something about them just doesn't sit right. The inspectors have been diligent, assuring us that everything's been double checked by top professionals. I want to believe them. The walls boast extra thick support beams. And in, the, uh, in these areas, collapses shouldn't be happening. But they are. I've seen it with my own eyes. And others are echoing the same concerns. It's as if we're dis disturbing something deep within this place. I can't ignore this any longer. I need to fix... I need to find a way out. This mind just doesn't feel right. There's a house over there. Another key. The elevator key has been added to my inventory. Deep inside the mine, there's an unsettling re restless among the workers. Every time they work on the deeper mine floors, they return with erratic and aggressive behavior. It's as if the pressure deep down is getting to them. But the exact cause remains a mystery. This is a phenomenon unlike anything I've witnessed in my lifetime. David. I like that candle. Remembrance of these fellas. 
anything we can do here? <gasps> yeah. What'd I do? I don't know what I've done. And there's no objectives for us. We turn on the elevators. Oh, Jesus! I think we have. We've done something. So we are going down. about it. I'm thankful for that. My lord. Has anybody ever been in a mine before? I don't think I ever have. I don't think I'd ever want to either. So awesome so far. Oh. I mean, so far the puzzles have been pretty much straightforward. They may have to think a little bit about it, but I mean, everything is where you think they should be. Like the key should be in the foreman's office. Um, nothing is just thrown out all willy nilly, you know. Some games do. Ooh. Caution unprotected mine shafts in this area. Mm. Don't like that idea. That we can't get into. So you might have to start a generator, maybe. Oh! Jesus! Oh, I've got to stop him. Put on my night vision for a few minutes. I um, haven't been using my night vision very much because it looks like it is on battery. I don't want to waste it. It's like it's a 10 minute battery. Elevator access. Still don't have access to that, which I got to find a key. Oh, 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 oh. A lot shouting over there now. Ooh, I might have been down that way. Switch back. Unprotected mines. Can't see anything. I don't know if I should go down here. I don't have a hot hat or anything.
There's a door over there. What's this? This is this go down even further? My lord. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm not going to jump. Oh, is that all dynamite too? I don't want nothing to do with that shit. crap. In the deeper tunnels, eerie and unexplained sounds have been plaguing me at night. And it's starting to take its toll on some of the guys. I've heard these unsettling noises multiple times within just a few hours. However, when I inquire about it, everyone dismisses me as if they can't hear these sounds. It's almost as if the noises exist only in my mind. How can this be? What's happening down here? Adam. Oh my lord. Adam's going cuckoo. Cuckoo, 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 or cocoa puffs. Oh my, I would like to have some cocoa puffs. I haven't had that in many years. Uh oh. Oh. That scared me. Find a lever and fuse to operate the elevator. And I like how they give you and tell you what you gotta do. So you need a fuse and a lever. Ooh. Yeah, we can't do anything with this until we get that lever and fuse. So at least we have some objectives we can do. Ooh. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Who would have thunk that was going to happen? I didn't. Maybe. We might have to use some dynamite to get out of here. Oh, this door opened. Did it break? It looked like it shattered. Shit, this is not the way I wanted this to go. Though I would like to find some gold. That would be very nice. I'd be one of those ones that I'd that be trying to carry all the gold and put it in my pockets. Being so weighted down, I can't leave. Everybody else will be running out of me. Walking. <clears throat> Too weighted down. Well. Okay, so we're back. Thank the Lord. We lost access to part of the mine. That is not good at all. So now we gotta find a lever and a key. And this door's probably still. What? Board used to barricade doors. I don't wanna barricade the door. I don't think, or do I? But do I, I got a board? Yes, I got a board. Oh my gosh, what I gotta use that for now? Okay. Whoa! This is open as well. Lord. Hello? Is there anybody in here? I see several notes for us to read. Oh. 
Maybe we can take one of these fuses. I can't access that. Medical first aid. Can't access that either. Father's love. I've no choice. The entrance is blocked. And Emma ventured deeper into the mine. It's a risk, but what else can I do if I don't try? Everything was going fine until the explosion and fighting brought chaos. And my daughter ran away from us despite my pleas for her to stay close. Oh no. I will find you, Emma. So that must have been the little girl that we saw earlier. She passed on to the afterlife. This, this is Emma here. Today was an unforgettable day. And uh, one that I'll never hold close. One, 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 what? I'll never hold close to my heart. Forever cold Christmas. You see, it was my birthday. And instead of the usual celebrations, I had something extraordinary in mind. I asked to spend the day with my father, who works at the Rockwell Mine. And we descended into the mine's depths. Excitement welled up inside me. The miners, known for their rugged faces and coal-stained hands, greeted me with open hearts, turning the dark industrial tunnels into a magical wonderland through improvised decorations and creative party games. Our time together in the mine was pure joy and camaraderie. These miners, usually tough as nails, revealed their softer sides, sharing stories of bravery and resilience. While we took countless photos of the captive to capture the happiness and togetherness that defined this day. Emma Wilson. Is that what it said? Emma, yeah, Emma Wilson. I like to see the pictures. What's this one here? There's another one from Emma Wilson. Amidst the depths of the earth, our celebrations felt like something out of a storybook. The laughter of the miners resonated through the tunnels, creating a symph sympath symphony of joy that drowned out the surroundings of darkness. As I stood there, my heart brimming with contentment, I realized that there was no place I'd rather be. This unique and unforgettable birthday celebration deep within the Rockwell Mine was a truly remarkable experience. It was without a doubt the best way to mark my special day. Warm regards, Emma Wilson. But you don't think so anymore. What? Oh shit! I shouldn't have said something. Woo! You, Mr. Wilson? Oh, Lord, all these miners everywhere. Whoa, whoa. Scare? That's not nice. We didn't find any levers or anything else in there. I don't have a hard hat.
Which way should I go? Probably shouldn't be here in the mines. Probably not the best thing for it. Maybe we use this for it. Yeah. Oh man, this is not gonna be a maze. No, don't do this again. Oh my god, this is... To be trapped alive, that'd be a horrible thing. What's this? Elevator le lever. Thank you. I can't read that. Our equipment is acting up. Despite regular maintenance, these unexpected malfunctions have left us in the dark at times. Relying solely on our headlights for hours before the, the intersection lights are restored. Is someone playing pranks on us down here? Ben? Playing pranks in the mine, that's not a good thing. Never play pranks in the mine. Hey, look at me, Henry. I got a, a stick of dynamite. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun, huh? That's not a prank you want to see. I think I'm already lost because... Man, this is, this is gonna be... This is gonna be ferocious down here. Let me get back this thing here. See more coverage. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Did the mine cave in again? Oh my god! Jiminy Christmas. Circle, right? That's a big... So if we go back this way, where we're at the, the beginning again? I do believe so, yeah. Okay. I keep hearing sounds behind me. That's quite, it's quite scary. So we've got the lever, and now we just need to find a, the elevator key. What? Okay, never mind. Oh no, we need to find the fuse. 
Oh, this thing is open now. Let's crawl through here. Oh, I'll need to cross some more. Oh my god. Mr. Ghost? You, you trying to tell me something? I think he was. You know he was in timeout because he was facing the corner. Awfully dark down there. Darkness or light? Darkness or light? Oh no, he's over there now. I think he wants me to follow him. over here but an ending I think he's trying to get me lost that's what I think down this way. It's getting darker down here, though. Oh, no. Another dead end. Mold. Dynamite. Desert Express. <gasps> Oh, there's a key. We find ourselves trapped deep within the mind, and the available oxygen is diminishing rapidly. The spell is creeping over us. Upon a closer examination, it becomes apparent that Wilson resorted to harming his fellow miners to preserve the precious oxygen. I could hardly believe that he could commit such an act. However, my own eyes bear witness to the grim reality. With only a few hours remaining, I saw what I saw, and there's no denying it, Ryan. So Mr. Wilson, gate one key, this daughter, Emma, right, Emma Wilson. So Mr. Wilson started killing people to preserve, to preserve oxygen. Probably, uh, probably Emma Wilson didn't like that very much. Are you Mr. Wilson? Are you the one that's, that murdered all these people? And uh, now feel guilty for it? Or are you in time out? He was just in time out. So now we go down this dark hallway over here. We did get another key, but it's not the elevator key. Uh oh. What is this over here? Oh, this is gate one. That's the one we got. The elevator lever. Gate one key. There's nothing here. Oh. another key. Seeking answers. What really caused the explosion? The killings? How could they turn on each other like that? I had no choice. I had to defend my daughter from those, from those who were trying to take her away. 
I've treated everyone with respect for 30 years and this is how they react in a tough situation. I can't believe it. Something is profoundly wrong. I need to uncover the truth. John Wilson. Gate 2 has been added to me. I'm afraid to turn around. Whole heart is just failing it as we speak. This is the exit here. section I think this is gate two gate two over here I think yep that's gate two we got the key for it so let's go ahead and go in hey, what happened to all my stuff though hey my my lever did Wait a second, my lever is gone. Did it somehow get dropped? Let me go back there and find out. So it's definitely not gone. Let me go back to the other side and check on it and make, make sure something didn't happen. That would be awfully frustrating if something was to happen, you know what I mean? Check. Hopefully it didn't bug out. We'll find out. That's going to be disappointing though if it did. Let's just move on. Yeah, 
Here we go. Gate number two. Doesn't look good. I think we might have to go back and turn the power off. I'm not going down there yet. Let me go see if that's what I gotta do. We just have to go through it. Well, let's see what happens when we do. Oh, now it's, now it's off. So we didn't turn off the generator. Oh, this is water. You definitely don't want electricity and water. So maybe we turned it off. It didn't turn off over there. Look eerie with the flashlight. Oh my gosh. Looks like we need a door for over there. Ah, a key for over there. Oh, this is so freaky. Somebody better not turn that power back on. Those ghosts better not do such a thing. That's gonna be awful. Hello? Oh, there's a guy over there. Oh my god! I'm concerned about that lever though. Why is it not in our inventory any longer? And the door is open. Can you imagine being in a mine like this? So absolutely drive some, drive me bonkers. and all that dirt come down around you. What do we got here? John Wilson. Radiation miners. Deep in the mine, everyone is emerging from the depths radiated as if they've encountered some sort of nuclear material. The sound is unbearable. But can you hear the sound of radiation without the equipment? I'm losing my mind down here. John Wilson. You know these people are getting paid probably minimum wage. Making some man rich. Close the mind. Did something happen over here? Is it open now? Oh, oh my god. This is where we were a minute ago. Uh oh my god, just is that where we're supposed to get out of? Didn't even oh my gosh. I'm 
expecting at some point to use that we'll have to use dynamite to get out or something like that. Okay, so this is going deeper now. Okay. Just clearing up a little bit. Switch back to my camera, to my flashlight. Cold drafts are appearing in unexpected places, and it's not just from the wind. Some of us suspect there might be hidden passages, even though we're deep underground, which seems impossible. There's only one way to. There's only one way in and out. What more people are reporting strange issue, Leo. Like a fuse right there. So I got a fuse. Still, I don't have my my lever any longer. I'm hoping uh, that the game hasn't bugged out. Ooh. Let me get out this way now. No, can't. Switch back to this one. Whoa, whoa, that hit me. That hurt my toe. Went right through me. It's like a ghost. A ghost cart. Oh, that's open now, at least. What about this over here? This is where this thing came from. Anything new over here? Should I go back down here for a second? Okay. I don't see anything new over there, so we'll get we'll continue on our merry way. I'm gonna go ahead and go down here. We got the fuse. We had the lever. I wonder what the game is gonna do. Hopefully, I'm not gonna have to restart it. Oh my god! Oh, uh, I just saw him kill somebody right there. That was John Wilson. John Wilson's a bad man. When that thing goes to hell, he cracks. Let's see what's gonna happen. Did I get this thing here already? I'm pretty sure I did. We do, okay. So we still got it. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Oh, hello, mister. Oh, shit. There's a bunch of them around here. I'm sorry about John. He's, a, he's an asshole. I know it. 
descent into madness, descent into fear, descent into everything. Keys. Let me switch to this one here. Everybody's lockers. What's that say? Safety helmet. Must. Okay. Oh, what? Well, Find a way to lower the toxic gas in the area and protect yourself from inhaling dangerous fumes. Okay, so we're not going down there right now. Toxic fumes down yonder. Don't like that. Respirator, we need a respirator. If I wore a respirator, where would I be? Oh, we're a thousand feet underground. If I wore a respirator, I'd be somewhere in here. Back upstairs. That's what it's looking like. Hello? That's going to be a, a thing that we'll have to do. No, it's not let me. So whatever it is, is down here. Maybe it was down the hallway here. I just can't see it. Oh, probably going to be in somebody's locker. That would make a lot of sense, for sure. Uh, a key. That would make sense, for sure, too. <gasps> What's this? Evidence has surfaced, revealing that Warden sabotaged our efforts effectively sealing our fate. As we continued on descent deeper into the mine, we glanced back and witnessed him igniting the gas container. In an instant, a deafening explosion followed, and he vanished. Another collapse ensued, leaving us trapped. The question that haunts us is, why would he do such a thing? Benjamin, can you imagine? I imagine that would be a thing. Somebody wanting to commit suicide. Uh, but taking out a lot of people with them. But those are evil people who do the things like that. Which key did we get? Did we get this key? Yes, we got that key. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I know it's not Jesus, but I keep... 
Christ, my heart is... Oh, my God! That must be John Wilson trying to kill me right now. Do we need this thing here? I think we do. Gas can at it. Another note. The end, page one, this is from John Wilson. I've meticulously, meticulously documented the discoveries within the book, revealing a sinister, demonic ritual purportedly from the devil himself. Oh my god. This is not what I'm looking forward to. I've questioned if this was an elaborate, elaborate hoax, a cruel ruse, ruse meant to ensnare me into the shadowy depths. Yet, as I delved deeper into the passages, an unsettling narrative unraveled before my eyes. There's more going on than what meets the eye, apparently. Mr. Wilson? What the heck is this over here? Oh! Gas masks. The truth will come out, Mr. Wilson. I can't get any of these gas masks. Oh, there's a key, though. To the generator room. Or I might find another gas mask, I suppose. Oh, my God. Now, can I pick up one of these gas masks? All nasty and everything else. Oh, still can't do it. The increasing number of guys going missing is, impo is impossible to ignore, and no one can provide any information about their whereabouts. We're instructed to carry on with our work and told they'll be found, but I can't shake the feeling that I might be the next. John sought help the other day, which was an unexpected plea, but both he and, and the one who went with him have been seen for days now. Oliver. Oh! Mm. My heart ain't gonna be able to take this much longer. The generator room. Give me some good light here. Oh, there's a gas mask right there. Thank you. There's, oh, okay, can put some fuel inside. There we go. Let's turn this puppet on. Our objectives. It doesn't sign a thing. Oh my God! It's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. if it's gonna put my helmet on for me or what? Let's see. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah. It scared me. But it put it on for me. Tunnel C. Authorized personnel only. Well I'm not authorized to go down there. Let's 
put down this cave here, even though we're not authorized. Actually, probably not even authorized to be here, I'm sure. Tunnel B. Over here, where the, that mo the ghost was. Some, a friendly miner, I'm supposing. Tunnel A. Tunnel C. Hope we're not going to get collapsed in. Oh, this ain't going to work. We don't have the key to that door. Alright. Let's go back the other way. Tunnel B. Dex unveils a horrifying tale, one that speaks of demons, insatiable thirst for power in our world. A power that can only be attained through the sacrifice of a woman. If this account holds true, then the book before me is no mere fiction. It's a tangible link to the, un to the cause of the relentless chaos that has besieged us. This mine was never meant to be enough. It harbors the ancient demon, a, man, a manevolent, malevolent entity that has lurked in the shadows of the untold centuries. This is John Wilson again. Yep. John Wilson knows what's going on here. Oh, John. Let's not do this, okay? It's over. It's been 30, 40, 50 years. I don't know. It's been a long time. <gasps> it's been a long time, John. Oh my shit! Did I just... Did I just come through this way? No, okay. Oof. I came from this way. I think. I'm getting lost like I already. Somebody up ahead is working. Coal mining. This revelation further complicates my effort to locate my daughter and ensure her safety. I need to read this book. It might hold the answers I so desperately seek. John Wilson. Oh my god! Oh 
I'm trying to help you, John. Man, I must lost my headphones there. Noise is going on in the back there. That's the door we don't have the key for. Let's make sure there's no keys on here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Barrels have been turned over. Make sure there's no keys falling off, falling off. Somebody is very upset right now, and I, 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 I don't blame them really. When the door is open. I mean, be trapped down here for years, like, like they have. There's a key right there. Keys this floor. Tunnel C door. Old markings. I stumbled upon... I stumbled upon peculiar, ancient-looking markings etched into the mine walls as I ventured closer to the site. The incidents of killing collapses. The incident... The incidents of killings collapses and the bizarre appearance of miners are happening all around me and I am left perplexed about their origin and purpose. John Wilson. Does he not know that he's the murderer? I don't know what's going on with this guy's mind. Of course, other people seeing him as the murderer but he's not really the murderer. Hmm. Very really peculiar circumstances coming forward. For our eyes. Okay, you still can't get down there. But we do have another key. To another door. I better get out of here. It looks like it's gonna. Here's. 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 Uh. 
that little Wilson girl. Emma. Come down here on her. Come down here on her birthday. Only to lose her life on that very same day. What the? Oh, shit! I guess we ain't going that way. Down, even further down there. Unexpectedly, we experienced a flood scare last week with no clear source, but the water rushed in rapidly. It seems like we may be, we may have broken into a water pocket of some sort. One particular tunnel is consistently at risk of flooding making it exceedingly challenging to carry out our work in these conditions. Ethan. Yeah. Probably down there. Oh my god, probably get the weight in water again. Yeah, it looks like these, these are village pumps. Oh my god, you stairs right now. Oh my god, I can't. Am I even gonna survive through this game? I don't know. If I stop talking, guys, you know I was probably had a heart attack and I'm dead. I can't, cause I can't go down there. I'm kind of glad for that, actually. Looks like this has gotten wider. It has. was in, in tiered, what in tiered, for long forgotten civilizations, its secrets buried for eons, and yet 
our ceaseless excavation led us to this horrifying revelation. I bear a heavy burden, knowing that I must do everything within my power to thwart the demon's escape. John Wilson Hmm. So maybe John Wilson actually is the hero. In some sort of way. Everything this game has done so far has made sense, and everything has done. I played games where you just didn't know. You had no clue, and the puzzles didn't make no sense. But this one here is. It does everything right so far. What does that say up there? Rockwell Mine. Yeah, that, yeah, everything is making sense. So we gotta turn this on, on over here too. sound of that. Oh, shit. this guy doing? <gasps> Mr. Wilson? I understand what you've done. I understand. You're okay. The record will show in the end. That you are actually the hero, I think. <laughs> oh! All this dynamite. We gotta go down even deeper. Hello? Absolutely nuts right here. Oh shit. Blasting signals. Warning signal. A one minute series of long blasts five minutes prior to blast signal. Blasting signal series of short blasts one minute prior to the shot. All clear signal. A prolonged blast following the Truth crystallizes before me, 
I am overcome by a profound sense of dread. We have unwittingly triggered a ritual intended to summon the devil from their accursed place. The demon has manipulated us, turning our labor into a tool for its nefarious designs. Regretfully, this marks the only instance where a woman has ventured near the mine, and the responsibility for this calamity falls upon my shoulders, John Wilson. So he brought down this, his daughter, and we can't do this yet. He brought down his daughter, <clears throat> Emma Wilson to be a sacrifice unknowingly. Happy birthday, Emma. You're a sacrifice to the demon. Oh shit, it feels like we gotta find some dynamite. We know where the dynamite, the dynamite is. It's over here, to our left. There we are. Oof. About to blow this joint up, it looks like. should get out of here, what do you think? I don't want to be under here. When that thing, uh oh, we're next, we can't go. Not right now. Oh. 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 Shit. I think we did it. Said that every time they do something, there's another, there's more tunnels. Oh my god! He threw that thing at me too, didn't he? That almost got me in my chest. I feel it in my heart. My lord, this is so, this is so horrible. Oh my god, there's another note too. Oof. At least these notes have been short. I don't like. The long ones. The explosion left the tunnels in ruins. I'm desperately trying to find a way out. 
is dark and filled with dust, and the further I go, the more I start to see shadowy figures resembling humans. With each encounter, a growing rage wells up inside me, and everything turns ominously black. Geology. The rock formations deeper down are unlike anything we've ever encountered. It's unsettling and begs the question, what have we dug into? This isn't on any survey map, and I have never seen anything like this before. What's happening here? John Wilson. <coughs> no, but John. That? That was a definitely a demon there. It's going this way. Nope. You guys know what that means? Go. We're heading that way. I gotta fix my microphone though. Um, my headphones. Lord, I, every time I jerk around, it's left my head. Oh shit. Oh my lord and no this is this is absolutely insane right here. What the heck is that thing? Open hole. Open hole. No. Page 5 The end I must acknowledge the grim reality There is no salvation for her or myself I must detonate the explosives Ending the torment of the deranged miners And sealing this man malevolent force within In doing so I hope to prevent such a calamity from ever befalling others Please find it within yourselves to forgive me for the sins I'm about to commit. John Wilson.
Yes, I escaped. If a coal miner has a nightmare in his dream, he will not be afraid because he is living the worst of that nightmare in real world. I'm immensely grateful to have been able to delve into the harrowing experiences of the miners and unveil the untold story that has remained concealed from the public for so long. I believe I played a role in granting these lost souls the peace they deserved. In honor of John Wilson's sacrifice and profound impact he made, I'm committed to crafting a story that will ensure the world remembers the legacy he left behind and the ultimate sacrifice he made for all of us. Report made by Robert Smith.